Hey there guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Surve and as you can see my channel's name is With Love Sam because we are doing everything out of love here and only love. So as you can see I am not dressed up or anything and I don't even know where I'm supposed to be seeing but okay um, I've got some cold and what this video is going to turn out to be i have no clue but i guess i'm just going to be like talking about random things because even though i do not have a lot of subscribers till now i promised myself that i am going to be making longer videos and i'm going to be taking this channel seriously so as you can see i'm in an oversized um t-shirt and i've got cold because of the supposed winter in mumbai and the holiday season is almost to an end, not almost, it is to an end. So I thought while the decor is still up, I will make a video of getting my life together one by one. Um, so yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe and give a like to it and let's get started. So I know that I should be sitting more towards the middle of this video and today we are going to get my skin on track it's not very bad but i've got like a pimple here and because i've got cold i'm feeling a bit feverish since the past two three days and i am literally not taking care of myself so we are going to start with brushing my teeth i mean i'm gonna brush my teeth and then i'm gonna get back and then we're gonna do a whole ass skincare routine and maybe some real talk and stuff here and there <coughs> So let's get started. I am back from brushing my teeth and then very next thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the whole double cleansing thing. Can you guys see it? How do we do this? Oh. You know what? Never mind. Let's cut to the aesthetic shot of it. I absolutely love this. Uh, Claire's cl deep cleansing oil and I am always a person who is sort of like into cleansing oil and stuff so though this is a bit pricey I I mean it does the job and I apply like waterproof mascara and everything and not everything really uh, not any balm or cleansing balm or cleansing oil or makeup remover sort of removes it out easily so this is kind of like something that really works well for me okay and the best part about this it you can go solo with this cleanser because it kind of like mixes up with water sometimes if you have water on your skin and it turns into like a creamy um face wash okay and this is not at all an advertisement or a sponsored thing because you can look at my subscribers and tell that they are not sponsoring me right now but definitely in the future i'm gonna manifest that so I just take like one to two pumps depending on whether I have makeup or not and I definitely don't have makeup right now so yeah I'm just sort of trying to deep cleanse my face since I have been just washing my face once in a day since a long time like it might be just two to three months since I'm only washing my face once a day like I'm feeling that lethargic and that lazy and I want to get back on track with my skincare because like I love doing a good skincare routine and also a lot of you guys if you guys do not know i have another fun channel which is like a collaboration with my friends and it's called keeping up with the Kalashians. so you guys can definitely go ahead and check that out i will add the link to the channel in the description box so the best thing about oil cleansing is there is no limited amount of time that you can do it you can do it for like five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes maximum i guess and it helps loosen out all of those um there's a word for it it's called clogged something or oil something basically it's like, it's like it deep cleanses your face and it helps your face to glow i guess it helps remove melt like blackheads and white hair and oil plugs yes oil plugs is the word for it so that's why i'm taking my liberty with this and talking to you guys as i'm going ahead and massaging it into my face and cleansing my face with it but you also have to be very gentle you can't go rough with it 
so as i am posting this video in the start of like 2024 let's talk about like our new year resolutions or what this year is sort of feeling like but before that i think it's time to wash this off so 2024 does feel like the year of lots and lots of money and like savings and stuff um i'm not really drying my face because i have to go ahead with my soap based face wash now Ugh, my eyes is blurry because of a little bit of oil that's gone into it I really love the simple face wash because as it says it is really simple as the word goes you know so 2024 feels like money as i was saying and i saw this post that said that 2024 smells like money and just the last day 10 days of december when i was thinking about what might be coming ahead in 2024 i was thinking that okay 2024 does like smell like money you know and that's what i saw a post about so i think so probably a lot of people on earth believe that you know and astrologically also it's the year of like the shani god and all so yeah it definitely is gonna serve your bank balance right if you are doing good you know stuff like that and yeah so apart from smelling like money 2024 also feels <coughs> like it's going to be a year um where your hard work is going to pay off not just in terms of wealth but also like if you've been um really doing good and helping others you're going to receive a lot of help in return and if you're like sort of um on a healing journey then you are going to feel very much healed like probably 70 to 80 percent healed this year and you know whatever basically you're trying to do i feel like 2024 is kind of like going to serve the results if you're doing something bad it's going to serve the results in that manner if you're doing something good the results are going to be like based on that you know positive and negative results both and yeah and above all i also feel it's like a year where we are going to help others a lot like we are going to help each other like a lot and it's so crazy where i saw this reel again where this person said that if you're here to help others in 2024 then follow my page you know because i'm here for it too and literally on like the 2nd of january no yeah on the 1st of january i wrote it in my diary which i can literally show you as a proof where um it said that uh where i said that uh you know uh i want to help others in this year and all that so i started maintaining a diary for 2024 and i know i've been washing my face since quite some time so i'm gonna wash this off so I'm back with washing my face. I'm just gonna gently pat dry it. I need to invest in like face towels. Okay, so we are back. So as I was saying, um, 2024 feels like the year where we are gonna help others, you know, each other. And we're gonna like help raise the consciousness of the planet. And I know for a lot of you right now, I might just be speaking like some sort of spiritual gibberish, but intuitively it does feel like that and a lot of people on instagram have uh you know like sort of confirmed what i was feeling intuitively so anyways i'm using this dot and key green clay mask and i have never been into um green color clay mask like i have had that indian healing clay mask and stuff but never really bought these ones which have already everything in it either i used to diy or something but i really liked this one i just impulsively bought, bought this one day and i absolutely fell in love with it you know i do apply clay mask with my fingers but i might end up have to like touch my phone and all which is why i am not using my fingers today it's just sort of like scooping like an ice cream or butter and it's a very satisfying texture you know you guys <laughs> Absolutely love the look of it. Smooth like butter. So maybe I just want to talk about, have a real talk about how my 2023 went. And if you guys can relate to it or get some help um, knowing it and maybe it might comfort you in some way. 
or help you relate to it then that's good so the start of my 2023 was like pretty rough i mean i got some sickness it wasn't that major i mean like if i wouldn't get treatment at the right time it would be major but because it did so not major so i'm grateful for it and i'm grateful for my parents for helping me get that treatment on time you know um apart from that i was in a rough patch in my relationship and my friendship in my self-healing journey and also in a rough patch with my family you know basically in a rough patch with anyone and everyone and this is no victim cardio it is just what it is i mean like having a rough patch does not mean that i was the good person there and i was the victim there and you know maybe no one was the victim maybe no one was the wrong doer maybe no one was the right doer either it is just what it is it's just a situation and i think uh like life was pretty crappy like pretty crappy for like a long time i guess ever since covid and covid was the time that sort of like was a downfall like the beginning of it till the start or till mid 2023 so majority of the life problems got solved mid 2023 or the latter part of 2023 so touch wood and grateful for it universe um so yeah there was like a rough patch with everything maybe because i was so um into my emotions and i was feeling my emotions so deeply i didn't know how to handle my anxiety or how to handle my emotions how to cope up with past trauma and everything that from 2020 to 2023 these one, two to three years were like pretty intense and pretty crazy and i feel like around um september october of 2023 life started going back on track and i also lost a lot of friends in this journey the only ones who stuck by my side is my partner and i stuck by his side vice versa my family vice versa yeah so friends come and go and um it's very difficult to find real ones who stick by your side there were one or two um close friends who did stick by my side but overall i lost a lot of friends i lost my mental imbalance like so 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 much and i feel many of us did and that's the side effects of covid you know so uh yeah that's the thing and then i found i reunited with some of my old friends around august september i'm not quite sure about the months and things became pretty sorted so and i am so grateful right now for where my life is at and where it is heading to because i mean i do not know what is coming ahead now if i have to write a letter to the universe or i have to pray to god or anything as such i don't know um you know what to ask for because i am grateful enough so i just tell the universe that take the wheel and i'll just like go ahead with it i know you're only and only going to bring like good things in my life you know so yeah um so losing friends gaining friends and um it's not just like about friends and stuff i don't want to sound too millennial or gen z type so for whom like friends is like everything and oh my god big deal you lost friends and everything but i just want to show you how alone everything made me and um how bad of a feeling it is because when you're sitting with like a group of friends on a daily basis or at least weekly you feel a little good about life you know or even with family members but since 2020 this was sort of like all of this was like falling apart and there was days just in isolation and all of that and it was this feeling that will this ever end will i have fun like you know you look at instagram you look at any social media platform and you see people having fun with their friends or with their families going on vacations and just having a life that is sorted you know and i was just like when am i going to get that you know when am i going to be living a normal life i i did not wish for luxury or like crazy things i just wanted like a normal life and here i was i was so confused like who should i go and share my feelings with who should i trust and you know stuff like that so now life is pretty normal so i'm going to like be in this zone for some time now take it all in be grateful live in the moment and if there are bigger things and greater things ahead for me then why not surely you've got to welcome it with like open arms you know so yeah that was a little bit of like life update from where i was and where i am now and um maybe that is what has given me like the confidence to speak on camera um so fluently and so happily with a whole heart full of love with the green face mask on guys i don't know if i have clips of previous um takes but over these months ever since 2020 to 2024 now every time i turned on the camera for a longer video for a real talk video or even a skincare video or a makeup video i did not have that confidence you know i was taking takes after takes and takes after takes you know i was literally like um hey guys and then i was just like 
looking at it and then zoning out and nervous and sweaty palms and all and I was just sort of cancelling and deleting those videos and never posting it which is why I kept myself behind the camera for all these shots um, that I've posted you know majority of them almost all of them you know and I did not even give proper voiceovers and all because that is how much everything had like broken me down but here I am again and I am super grateful for it okay super grateful for this life and where life is so the reason again why I've shared all of this with y'all is that if you are at that stage right now where I was then just know that maybe you're just you just have to take one more step and your life is going to get sorted just keep going keep having faith and keep going I know it's very generic very cliche of a line to say that oh just keep going and have faith but I mean what else can you do so I can't really be like worry more and you will be fine like all I can say is that keep some faith do good try to be a better person even on days when you cannot be one try try forgive yourself forgive others and chase the feeling of peace chase the feeling of love chase the vibration the frequency of love chase good things positive things and your dream life or your normal life healed life will just follow don't chase the end of the healing journey or chase the outcome just chase the feeling the feeling of love the feeling of peace try to be in that feeling try to be in that vibration as much as possible you know also another interesting thing I'd like to share but let's get this off because it's dried up a little bit I am using this Innisfree green tea seed cream just gonna take a little bit of it wow that was a lot and apply apply to moisturizer sometimes oh it fell down so I was saying also another trick that sort of helped me in this healing journey is that <coughs> I was this person who used to um, you know stand up for myself a lot if I saw something uh, that's going wrong and all or I my tolerance level for like BS was completely low so I used to get into frequent fights with um, you know friends and stuff also using the Johnson's baby milk plus rice cream okay so my tolerance level for like BS was like completely uh, low and that used to often result in me losing friends and also getting in fights with like family members and everything and it was always like I was the one who was like left alone and everyone else was like always united together in friends and family and I was like the one who was like the black sheep and everything you know and I would just question everything and be like why is it that like drama is like always in my life some of my friends would also be like lol sam drama just like sort of chases you and everything like that you know oh, this moisturizer just gives me that baby skin okay enough so yeah then i just sort of started realizing that maybe fighting with everyone over anything they do wrong is like not the solution sometimes you just need to ignore like ignorance is bliss you know and unless things are going like way 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 out of hand and your friend is doing like something really horrible it's only then that like it's okay to let them go and to probably stand up for yourself but again in those scenarios i have trained myself sort of that oh it's so bright on my face that's literally not my skin color but okay okay so as i was saying i have literally like trained myself that if it's getting a lot like way 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 too much like set some certain boundaries don't set every inconvenience cause from them as a reason for you to break friendship or cut off ties and invite that drama into your life or ghost them or or rebel against them and so on okay just set a few boundaries about general things that are completely wrong like suppose your friend or your family member is doing uh, legally something wrong they're doing something illegal or um, they're quite abusive towards you and just other things that could be really really toxic just set those things as boundaries like till it's not on a tolerable level the minute it gets intolerable you can cut them off you know so I started setting those boundaries and I started ignoring uh, majority of the wrongs that they are doing, you know, unless it's really, really harming me. Because if you're in a group of friends or, for example, in your family and you're like going to be the only one who's standing up for things and fighting for things, you know what's going to happen? No one is really going to 
understand your viewpoint they all are just going to single you out and they are all going to be like um well you know she's just like that only she fights with everyone and she or he they just beg for drama you know they have a problem with everyone but they won't understand that you are voicing out your opinion and everything so what i'm trying to say is it's not necessary to just push yourself into everything possible you know just look out for yourself also your well being also and that in the sense like you know that you need to look at the picture after this whole thing are people going to stand up with you for it or is it going to be like everyone's going to be turning against you because you stood up to this one person and they're going to have a good time and you're spending your christmas and new years alone you know that way so again also while cutting people off when it gets a lot i ask myself that is it necessary for me to voice it out you know as to why i'm cutting this person off do i need that kind of drama in my life right now or i can just ghost them if they've done something horrible you know like is this person even worth that much energy of mine so majority of the time the answer is no like this person is not worth it just ghost them after it gets to a point and that also helps so much cuz you're ignoring the drama you're uh, trying to cut off that dramatic thing you know already ghosting a person and all is dramatic enough but adding to it yelling at them or telling them what they've done wrong adds to it and it spoils your mental peace also along with it it just builds up a lot of hate you know and we are not here for that and so again um it's ghosting people only if it gets a lot if i'm probably taking they are you know from they are bs like from one or two years or something it's only then i'm cutting them off cuz i'm giving them chances months after months and weeks after weeks cuz i'm trying to understand and be empathetic enough that okay that okay that maybe they are coming from a place of trauma or um, maybe they'll change and stuff and then i realize that they're not changing and i cut them off if you are not a person who has gotten into a lot of drama then it's completely okay for you to cut people off when it gets a lot according to your boundaries in a month's time or in two months time but i am speaking here for myself because i was a person who used to do that and it just got a lot like i started off with standing up for myself in front of one friend or one family member and the cycle just kept continuing the problem here is the ego mixes up with your morality and ethics and every time someone does wrong your ego makes you feel like yes it's good to cut them off go take a stand you who who whatever you know so you need to know when you should cut someone off and when you should just brush it off you know um for example i do not want a lot of you guys to like misunderstand what i am saying also i did not say it but i applied baby lips on my lips as a lip balm okay but what i'm trying to say is for example um you just got into a small argument with a friend maybe this friend does this sort of a thing like once in a month okay she does this particular thing that pisses you off like once a month and i mean like you can ignore it okay but if this friend's doing this thing like every alternate day or every week you know something that's crossing the boundary line for you then i think it's right to cut them off again things like stealing your boyfriend or um lying to you about things constantly and all that those are like straight up red flags okay and like she is going and um speaking ill about you to others and being a fake friend to you those are things that are straight up red flags you can straight up ghost that person or even voice it out but what i'm trying to say is if there are minor things that can be ignored you should definitely ignore it cuz at the end of the day you're going to feel like um nobody's perfect and so is she she's not perfect i'm not perfect either at the end of the day you're going to feel like nobody's perfect and stuff you know and i simply fought with her over that thing that could have been easily ignored you know so sometimes what's wrong is wrong and sometimes you can just ignore it so this thing like i have told myself any time something happens any time a friend or a family member does something i just tell myself is this worth my energy or do i really need to distance myself from them and majority of the time the answer is like no i mean like they are human you are human you make multiple mistakes do they make multiple mistakes there might be something that you are doing is angering them and they are tolerating you so it goes both the ways you know nobody is perfect so yeah that was my thing that was my point here and um, yeah so that's the thing that helps me uh and the other thing is when i feel like i should really really cut this person off and when i feel like i personally not hurt them as much as they've hurt me then i feel like okay i should cut them off because their bar of hurting me is way 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 too much and my tolerate tolerance has also been the same level but now i do not want to tolerate it anymore and it's been quite some time since i'm tolerating it then i just sort of like um cut the person off and i try to be 
as I try to make the process as easy and as drama free as possible. And I also ask myself that what does this person add to my life, you know, in a positive way before even cutting them off or ghosting them. If this person is not adding anything to my life, you know, then I'm just telling myself that why do I need this person then in my life, you know? I'm tolerating their BS for absolutely no reason at all. And when they're not even having a positive impact, even like a 0.01% positive impact on my life, you know. Uh, so, yes, this has actually helped me narrow it down to maybe one or two people in the last six months or one year that I've wanted to cut people off or stuff like that or stand up for myself, you know, and I've been with the majority. So it's probably one or two people or maximum three people in the past one year that I might have cut off um, due to the following factors that I told you guys. So it's a good feeling, you know, to forgive yourself and to forgive others and to sort of like think of everyone as humans and thinking that we are all imperfect and not thinking highly about yourself and then putting another person down and cutting off ties with them. It's sort of a good feeling to take all friends and family members and just people in general together because that is what is like meaningful at the end of the day, you know. It's the people in your life that make it better because trust me, we are not on earth to like live alone and nobody should be living alone. You know, nobody should just be having one or two people that they interact with on a daily basis. You deserve the world, you deserve all the good people, the positive people, the humble, happy people that are meant to be in your life. And if they make one or two mistakes, that's completely okay. They are human and you're human. I guess that was my point here. So like I was telling you guys from 2020 to 2023, like it was kind of rough. But, you know, making this mentality and developing this mentality sort of helped me. And I wasn't going through a rough time because of losing friends or stuff like that. I was going through a rough time due to a completely different reason. But I changed this one habit about how I'm dealing with people. And that sort of helped me with the completely different issue that I was dealing with. Because when you have people around you, those warm hugs, the warm feeling of having people around you in your space, those positive people, it sort of helps you with anything. Like, you can just call a friend whenever you're feeling low and they're going to be there because you have formed meaningful connections. People value you because you value them. You do not take them as someone you need to rebel against all the time. You take them as another human and they take you as another human. So yeah, you guys, maybe it could also be that you're not doing anything wrong, but you're just losing friends and stuff and that's completely okay. You will find your circle, you know, you will totally find your circle. So guys, this video was in no way trying to teach you to tolerate unjust behavior from others but it was just to put this message across that we're all you know in this together and we're all imperfect and maybe if we want to live that dream life we also have to so maybe if we want to um you know be happy in life we also have to form happy connections and sometimes we could be the problem too or we could be partly the problem you know in it so yeah there are kids playing outside my house door and yeah with that i guess we do not have that silence anymore so i'll see you guys until next time you guys can comment down your thoughts about um this video the real talk or the skincare whatever it is okay all your love and positivity is welcomed here and i'll see you guys again until next time with love sam